I just had to pull over, just past what I think on the top of a hydroline pole or a telephone pole was a curled up raccoon having a doze, which uh, I don't usually see those on the side of the highway. So I've pulled over here and uh, I'm just gonna turn around and go back and see if I can uh, get some footage and uh, show you guys the raccoon on the top of the pole. You're connecting this into the way kids learn these days because kids get so excited when they can see connections. I mean, this is a big part of what I'm experiencing. So there he is right there. That's the pole that he's on the top of. Let's see if we can use the FZ300 here to zoom in a little more. There's the, there's the pole at the bottom. And if we walk the lens up the pole, there he is on the top. Let's see how close we can get in with the FZ from here. Okay, that is at full extension on the lens, 648 millimeters. I'm still in the car. So I'm gonna get out now and uh, we're gonna see if we can get a closer look at this guy. Okay, I'm back on the other side because the sun on that other side was not working for us. So, I don't know, this may be as close as we get. This is 648 here, full zoom on the FZ300. You can see him up there. Let's grab a snap. I almost wonder if he's frozen to death up there. He's, uh, there's a big hunk of ice hanging off there. I wonder if he's still alive. Okay, well, it looks like that's the best we're gonna do for a shot here. He's not turning to look at us anyways. So uh, it's freezing out here. I'm getting back in the car. Okay, so back in the car it is cold out there very cold out there uh, I have no idea if that guy uh, little coon up there is still alive uh, it's a fairly looks like a fairly small raccoon not one of the biggest ones my sunglasses are fogging up from warming up in the car here but um, anyways we got some shots um, not the closest uh, the snows really uh, deep around the base of that pole so I couldn't really get a better angle to try and show you him, but uh, just looked kind of interesting. Thought it was worth turning around, grabbing some footage for. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at outoftheimage.com.